well if it isn't orange potter. Well, 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 if it isn't Snape fruit. <laughs> I see you brought along your meddlesome cohorts, Pear Weasley and Passiony Granger. Meddlesome? Cohorts? Hey, hey, Professor Snape fruit. What? You're an apple. <laughs> I most certainly am not an apple. Yeah, uh huh? Apple Cadabra. Hey, Snape fruit, are you embarrassed? Because you're looking a little red. <laughs> <laughs> With your games, Orange Potter. The fruit that must not be named wants to have a word with you. The fruit that must not be named? You mean moldy warts? Dude, Orange. It is madness to speak that name. Okay, I guess I'll just have to sing it then. Moldy warts, moldy warts. He wears moldy undershorts. <laughs> Impressive, Orange Potter. Whoa, who's there? It is I, the fruit that must not be named. More like the fruit that has no nose. <laughs> uh, orange? None of us have noses. Wait a second. Then how do we smell? Terrible! <laughs> My lord, I was just about to deliver these rep scallions to you. Hey, I'm not a scallion. I'm an orange. Silence! Damn! Hey, that's not how you play Quidditch. And now, Orange Butter, you will meet your end. Don't worry, Orange. We're here to help. Yeah. You won't have to face Moldy Warts alone. As a matter of fact, he will. Jello Ramas! Oh, yuck! I hate it when they put fruit in jello. Now, Orange Potter, the day I have waited for. The day we finally see who is the greatest wizard fruit. Oh, is it Kiwi? What? No! Peach? This is not a guessing game. Gordy McGordalot? That's not even a fruit! Jeez! You don't have to be such an apple about it. No, I am not. Wait, how? How did you know I was an apple? Well, you do yell a lot. <laughs> Whoa, where, where am I? Hello there, Orange Potter. Hey, Grandpa Lemondor, you're back. Actually, Orange. I'm still dead. Wait, if you're still dead and we're talking, that means... Ah! Calm down, you're not dead. Think of this as a brief stoppage of time to teach you a lesson, the most important lesson you'll ever learn in your entire life. Yay! Wait, what were you talking about now? Orange Potter, you must listen to me very, very closely. Now to defeat Lord Moldywarts and save your friends, you must simply... Grapple Lemondor? Grapple Lemondor! <sighs> now I'll never know how to defeat Moldywarts. Wait, what's that? Ooh! With Orange Potter gone, there is no one to stand in my... Stand? I don't even have legs! <laughs> what? Impossible! How did- Hey! Hey, Moldy Wards! Hey! What? What is it? Apple Cadabra! Well, you did it! You made me young and fresh again! Yeah! Grandpa Lemondor's letter said the key to defeating your enemies is being nice to them! Well, Grandpa Lemondor was a wise wizard fruit! Yeah! It said if you're nice to Moldy Wards, he'll never see it coming! See what coming? Knife! No! <laughs> Yay! You did it, Orange! Look at me! I'm a real whiz kid! <laughs> uh, now that that's over with, who wants Jello? <laughs> <laughs> Too cool for that. The film begins with Harry Potter as a baby being left at the doorstep of his aunt and uncle. He then jumps to a very unhappy 11 year old Harry who lives in a cupboard under the stairs being treated like a slave by his relatives. Owl starts delivering letters addressed to Harry from a wizarding school called Hogwarts. His uncle won't let him read them, but a half giant named Hagrid comes to tell Harry the truth. Yo